So in this video, we're going to be talking about the Spartans, and in particular, the Spartan warrior. So Sparta was settled on the uh, promontory of the peninsula off of the southern end of the Greek mainland, known as the Peloponnese. And uh, the, uh, the uh, ancestors of the Spartans came down as part of the Dorian migration uh, at the very cusp of um, the turning point between the Bronze Age and the Dark Age. And so um, the, uh, the, the origins of the, of the Dorians in Western Greece are, uh, are somewhat uh, shrouded to us. But what we do know very clearly is that the people who became the Spartans migrated all the way down into the southern end of, of the Peloponnese, and there they found the uh, territory already inhabited by the people that were living there before. Some of them, the uh, uh, the peoples that had been part of the um, the uh, the Mycenaean uh, world of the Bronze Age, um, the people that inhabited uh, Laconia, the place where Sparta was settled, and especially uh, the the highly populated territory of Messenia, were. Uh, conquered and essentially enslaved. Um, these were peoples that uh, were um, coerced into uh, performing the, the work of a labor class for the Spartans. And this is something that is relatively unusual in the Greek world. Um, for the most part, uh, the Greeks do not... Uh, 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 do not to aim toward having a a slave class or a laboring class because uh, as we've seen from both Homer and Hesiod one of the primary Greek virtues is self-sufficiency and uh, a slave class sort of plays uh, against that um, so what is different for the Spartans very early on in the story of, of the Spartan community um, there's a uh, there's a formulation of, of what it means to be Greek, what it means to be this particular brand of Greek, what it means to be Spartan. The Spartan uh, identity, as with all of the communities of, of Dark Age and Archaic Greece, um, begins to coalesce around a single set of ideas that is a part of um, you know, everything that goes into dialect and heritage and experience uh, and, and everything else, the way that it formulates in every Greek community is different. And um, the, the, the Greeks each have, each community has its own vision of, of what the ideal society is. What they have in common is that drive toward the ideal that needs to, uh, to persist and excel and and evolve and and uh, and 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 move toward that ideal community, whatever it is in their vision. And what we find with the the Spartans, almost uniquely uh, within the in, uh, within the uh, uh, the world of the Aegean, is that they focus on one particular um, uh, aspect. Of Greek life, the um, the the uh, the form of warfare that we call hoplite warfare uh, emerges as um, the the um, most uh, perfected form of warfare by the time we come out of the Dark Age and into the Archaic period. And uh, as the Spartans come into this into their own at the at the dawn of the Archaic period in the eighth century, their um, their identity revolves around the warrior as the the most perfect form of 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 man as the most um, of, uh, ideal form of 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 a Greek as the uh, as the um, most uh, remarkable and and um, most uh, perfectible form of life and civilization. And so uh, the, the Spartans later attributed a, an entire system, an entire shaping, entire customization of, of society, an engineering uh, um, of society geared toward a single goal of creating a society of perfect warriors. 
Everything else that in inhibits this is set aside. Anything that can contribute to this um, is enforced. And so, on the one hand, you know, all of the uh, members of the of the of the warrior class are inducted into training for warfare at a very early age. All of the males, I should say, and and begin the process of. Of, of molding their minds from pre-adolescence uh, throughout their entire lifetimes. They are, uh, they are trained to believe uh, in, the, um, in, the, um, in this goal, in this ideal of themselves as the ideal warrior and Spartan as the ideal um, warrior army, warrior uh, society, warrior culture. Um, and anything else that is not that, including all of the other ways in which other communities pursue uh, expression and the creation of knowledge and, and the expansion of understanding, including literature uh, and the arts and even, you know, architecture uh, and, and uh, advanced uh, uh, engineering, all of these things are left aside as... Uh, you know, if you devote yourself to that, if you spend time on that, then you are deviating from the the true path. You are neglecting your duty. You are betraying your Spartan identity. You are betraying your ancestors and your entire community. If you do not devote every particle of your being and every every element of your will, Toward this goal, and so the Spartan ideal becomes um, that the 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 Spartan is is this is the warrior. Everything else in the society is geared toward making that possible. So the Spartan society is essentially divided up into uh, into three tiers. The warriors, the true Spartans, or the homoioi. Um, these are the, uh, they're called homoia because they are all equally. These are hoplite warriors. They fight in a phalanx. No one of them is supposed to be a hero. No one of them is supposed to be an Achilles or an Odysseus or anything like that. Um, they are all, um, the, you know, they are all heroes. They are all the best possible warriors. And this is a citizen body. The citizenship has been restricted entirely and exclusively to the warrior elite. Uh, all of the other peoples that uh, are, are skilled laborers in the urban setting um, that are performing the, uh, the leather working and the stone working uh, and the, uh, the, the metal working, um, bronze and iron, and uh, you know, you know, the, uh, all of the other you know, textiles and wood and, uh, and ceramics, all the other things that are everyday humdrum components of society. These are done by the people who live in the vicinity of Sparta, but are, um, are not true Spartans. They are not citizens. They are disenfranchised, set aside from, um, the, uh, uh, from what it means to actually be a true Spartan. They are there. They are necessary because you know, they make the weapons and they make the gear um, and they build the houses and everything else. But that's a support system so that the homoioi can be Spartan warriors. Uh, even more so, the, uh, the Helots. Uh, these are the prisoners of war, the, uh, the descendants of the Laconians and Messenians that were conquered by uh, the Spartans. These are essentially, uh, um, they, are, they are bound to the land uh, and they are required to produce food. To feed the homoio, each uh, each family is responsible for producing a certain amount of food for a particular member of the Spartan uh, warrior class, uh, and this is why you know the the term should actually be uh, that they are serfs and not slaves. Um, they uh, they are not bought and sold. Uh, they are. Um, they simply do not have the freedom to leave the land. They are required to. Um, uh, produce a certain amount of goods, everything else uh, beyond that, they are left to their own devices. Um, but uh, the, the Helots vastly outnumber the Homoioi, uh, the, uh, and 
they exist solely to allow the homoyoi to concentrate on training and fighting without having to worry about land and agriculture and food. Um, all of the things that, uh, you know, that every other person in the Greek world uh, has as their primary uh, attention and occupation, uh, the cultivation of food, and the dealing with land, um, the, uh, the, the Spartans had devised a way to not have to worry about that, to take that um, off of their plates by creating this massive um, bottom of the pyramid, this massive class of people who provide the food, and then above that a, uh, a, a class of skilled laborers that, to perform all of the other functions. All that the Moyo have to worry about is training and fighting. And, and, uh, uh, and this is the, uh, the thing that is supposed to bring Sparta, um, this is what advances Sparta, this citizen body at the top, this warrior community, this is what the way in which the Spartans, like all of the other Greeks, push toward an ideal society by cultivating and engineering and brainwashing each generation after generation into becoming a better set of warriors, a more idealized form of warrior um, than ever their ancestors were before. And so in Spartan society, there's very little need for slaves. Uh, slaves are, are used for uh, symbols of status in the households of the rich, um, you know, to show that one family is above another, but all the homoio are the same. So there's no need for status, there's no need for de decorations, there's no need for large houses uh, or anything like that. Uh, the, to set one family uh, above another, or, um, you know, or to, uh, to load prestige on um, one particular warrior or one particular uh, family group is unspartan. It goes against the idea of the, the most perfect hoplite army. Um, and the other uses to which slaves are put, cultivation of the land, the, the serfs are already, already doing that, um, the, uh, the, uh, the production of, of, of minerals from mining, uh, the, the Spartans have uh, relatively few in the way of their own mines. They get uh, the natural resources they need to get through the very limited amount of commerce that they do with outsiders. And so um, there's very little in the way of slaves in Spartan society. Um, the, uh, the, 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 the vast majority of the population of the, the, the Spartan um, neighborhood is uh, ensurfed to the larger goal of perfecting the warrior elite. And so the homoyoi become uh, um, this uh, the, uh, a concept as much as anything else, and um, you know the the amount of training, the amount of of devotion that they put in um, makes them physically representative of of this ideal as much as anything else. In Greek art, we often see that um, uh, that artists uh, um, strive to show an ideal form of the male even when they're lying about uh, listening to music and watching dancers and symposia. But uh, the Spartan warriors, the homoiai, um, with nothing to do but to perfect themselves um, physically and to train their minds militarily, uh, are, 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 are um, uh, ideal specimens uh, in real life, even amo above and, and amongst the other Greeks. Um, this uh, training begins at a relatively early age, and there are, uh, uh, starting from age seven, and there are a series of stages in which they, uh, that they go through, in which the boys are, you know, essentially pr apprenticed to uh, older uh, soldiers who are, um, you know, more advanced in the process, uh, and uh, they are um, they are you know bonded to each other collectively and individually in order to have the most intensive um, uh, um, you know mind shaping uh, as well as body shaping undertaken uh, 
Uh, they, uh, their homes are not with their families. Their connections are not with their parents or uh, even necessarily their siblings. Their home is the barracks. Um, the life that they live from childhood is the life of the soldier. And as they grow up, this is what they know. This is what they believe in. This is what they pass on to uh, the, their descendants. So, um, you know, what it means, the, the pride involved in becoming this, the pride involved in, in having uh, um, pushed themselves collectively to be uh, greater at war than, than, than any other uh, community and to have purified themselves, to have laid aside everything else that's extraneous, everything else that smacks of of, of leisure, uh, and, and excess and, 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 uh, uh, and, and, uh, unnecessary things and, and the, you know, and, and waste and, and, and sensual pleasure. All of these things are, are distractions, uh, that the, the, the Spartans, uh, know enough to have done away with. And so they see themselves as in in some ways the purest and best of all the Greeks, not just because of their expertise and uh, and aptitude in war, but because they have uh, um, because they have driven themselves more uh, with greater focus, with more purity toward the ideal than any other Greek community, and that's that's.